A new and disturbing analysis shows attacks against women have surged on social media in the days following Donald Trump's election win. Hateful and sexist phrases like your body, my choice and get back to the kitchen are getting millions of clicks online. White nationalist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes posted your body, my choice forever on election night. It's been viewed more than 90 million times. So does this abuse amount to right wingers just indulging in online trolling or is it a glimpse into a deeper sexism in this country? Let's discuss with my panel, social entrepreneur and women's lifestyle advocate, Nadia Okamoto, CNN political commentator, Margaret Hoover, and welcoming back, Michaela Carr, GOP strategist. Ladies, it's great to have you on. I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this. Nadia, I wanna start with you. This phrase, your body, my choice, is rewording and degrading a rallying cry used by women in support of reproductive rights. Have you or your online community experienced any of these attacks since the election? I mean, I think that it has not just been since the election. I think it's been over the last, let's say, eight years since we first saw, um, you know, Donald Trump really come onto the national political scene. And I think that it's because some of this rhetoric has not only been normalized, it's also been celebrated. Um, and so I think that it's something that I've experienced as a content creator who talks a lot about women's health and reproductive freedoms. I have about 6 million followers across socials. And so it's been in my comments and I think that they're, uh, you know, in since the election is definitely, I think, an affirmation of confidence from some of those commenters as well. So, Margaret, what is your take on this? Why do you think these far right trolls and extremists now feel more emboldened to hurl these sexist attacks? Look, um, certainly there has been, Pam, a degrading of the, the rhetoric um, and, and the respectfulness with which we engage with one another um, and and tone does come from the top. So we do see that from the crassness and, and the rude um, language and rhetoric uh, from our politicians, particularly from Donald Trump and how women are treated. However, I think we also need to be really thoughtful and realistic about the spread of this online and recognize that there is a, an online uh, ecosystem that ratches up and divides Americans using incidences and frankly embedded <laughs> Um, biases, uh, divisions, sac divisions between the genders. It is intended specifically to tear Americans apart. Oftentimes this is happening by influencing factors out beyond our borders. Uh, we saw this in 2016 when there was a concerted effort by Russian trolls to take advantage of the division after the George Floyd murder to um, tear Americans apart. 